Hello, my name is Ben from Amago Dopostad and welcome to today's show. On today's show, we'll be highlighting more on nutrition. That is what we do here at the farm in regards to keeping our sheep healthy in terms of their nutritional requirements. Sheep, for them to maintain good health and to be productive, they require to have a balanced diet. And here at Amago Dopo Farms, we try our level best to maintain that with our sheep. So in terms of a balanced diet, what are we talking about? Here we look at aspects of energy and under energy, we are talking mostly about the grains and at Amago Dopers here we give uh, maize and our maize is either crushed maize or cracked maize. That's what we provide in terms of energy for the ship. And when it comes to the protein side of it, we give a mix of soya meal and lusan and cotton seed cake together with sunflower. That ensures at least they have a intake of a crude protein slightly over 15 percent and generally sheep will do very well with any uh, protein intake that is above 10 percent yeah. another thing we look at is to ensure that we have introduced minerals minerals play a vital role when it comes to the nutritional uh, requirements for the animals and for sheep it's not an exception so in our case here we ensure that the major minerals that is the calcium the phosphorus we are able to provide it both in their mineral leak and also mixed in their feed to ensure that they have strong bones and it also gives them better posture and ensures faster growth especially for the lambs and another important aspect that we also ensure is to ensure that trace minerals like magnesium zinc and selenium are available in their mineral leak so for minerals it has to play a critical role as you bring up your flock Another thing that we look at in terms from a nutritional point of view is the vitamins. So you have the vitamin A, you have the vitamin D and the vitamin E. Vitamin A and E generally we get it from the pastures or rather from the uh, either from the Lusanne, from the Boma roads. And especially when it's a bit dry, we also give them a bit, a shot of multivitamin, which also has a complex vitamins in them and for vitamin D mainly you get it either from green matter which is mostly from your uh, raffid your hay and also we do get it from the sunlight so for vitamins that's how we go about it and generally what we do here is to ensure that we categorize our sheep depending on various factors because remember your sheep require certain nutritional requirements at different points in their life so we formulate their feed depending on one where they are in their growth where they are in their size and also for example seasons so for lactating mothers we ensure that their feed has a higher nutrition uh, component in terms of proteins and uh, for the young lambs, like what we have here, these are about three months old uh, lambs. This one we also ensure that they have a higher protein uh, diet. And this ensures why do we give them higher proteins in their diet? Because they are at their growth level. These are the points whereby you want them to grow fast. So you have to ensure that the protein is at a higher level than you would give sheep in different ages so for the lambs and for the lactating mothers 
and also for the expectant mothers at about four to six weeks to lambing, we ensure that their diets have high uh, protein uh, content. Another important thing that we do is for the mothers that are lactating, we also ensure in their leeks that it has a higher phosphorus uh, element. This ensures that when it comes to them having enough milk for the young ones, that they indeed have sufficient milk. And when it comes to the leeks, this is a leak that we formulate here at the farm. Uh, and we ensure that for this particular leak, it's in loose format. This is better for ingestion uh, by the sheep, and it will it's better assimilated in the body than what you have in the block format. Yeah. 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 So here at the farm, uh, we formulate our own mineral leaks mainly because we have to ensure that the copper level is very low and this is because sheep and also goats uh, they are very susceptible to copper poisoning so you have to be very careful with the type of blocks that you buy out there so to ensure that their level of copper is very low because with sheep they are not able to take as much or ingest as much copper as you would find in the cases of the cows. So for us here at Amago Doppers, we formulate our own mineral leak. Yeah. And you will notice it's uh, in loose format. And for this one, it's easier for the sheep to ingest. And also another reason is that we found from experience is that with the block salt, uh, the sheep, unlike the cows, are not able to leak uh, the salt. They actually bite on the, on the block and of course this will have some wear and tear effects in terms of their teeth and you'll notice as your sheep are growing older if you just uh you know give them the block format that their teeth will be worn off in a couple of years time so this is what we offer here for the for the sheep for the sheep and also uh just to note is that for these ones for the lambs it has a lower phosphorus content because they may not they are not at a point where they are lactating so they may not require that too much phosphorus into their salt as compared to the ewes that are either just about to lump or the ones that have just lump theirs will have a bit more phosphorus in their formulation yeah. another important thing to note is that when your sheep are eating a balanced diet then your production levels are much higher either if you're keeping them from uh, if you are looking at it from a point of milk production or taking care of the lambs uh, sheep that have a balanced diet will be able to take care of a lamb up to weaning and beyond that point at the same time if you're keeping them for meat then you'll be able to have very weight, uh, very good weight gains and also very good growth rates so it's very important that you ensure that you have formulated or you have you're following a strict balanced diet in your uh, for your sheep i would encourage you to try and grow your own fodder uh, it's very important to see how best you can be able to lower your cost because with food that you're buying or feed that you're buying literally off the shelves it's you'll find it very tough especially now with the drought that we are encountering here in kenya for you to be able to uh maintain your sheep and actually have them thriving because of the high costs of production especially from a feed point of view so what i would also encourage you is let land not be a limiting factor to you or your location here in Machakos, it doesn't rain a lot. Uh, our land, of course, is also limiting. So see what best you can be able to grow within your locality and also look at being able to partner with other farmers out there because through partnerships, you'll be able to grow fodder by Partnering with someone, for example, who's coming from the maize belt, 
that is the Kitales uh, of this world where it's raining and you'll be able to partner with them, grow together and of course share the produce and that way you'll also be able to lower your cost. So look at partnerships. Don't feel that no man is an island and not to add no woman is an island. So it's more important for you to work as a team. Farming is all about teamwork. Uh, here we try as much as possible to partner with other farmers out there, especially when it comes to feed, uh, growing maize. Uh, we, we need maize in plenty because remember, from an energy point of view, energy plays a very crucial role in the diet and it actually takes about 70% of your uh, nutritional requirements if you're formulating the feed. So you need to have a very good source of that particular energy and in our case the maize and hence the need of partnerships with other farmers and we grow the maize together and that's something you should also look out for yeah. to ensure at least that you're not losing out from a production point of view just because uh, you feel limited by your location and by your land size. At this point I would like to request for all farmers out there please put under on the comment uh, bar please let us know where you're farming what you're farming what is your speciality and let's form a community whereby we can be able to lower our costs of production by actually you know coming together and growing certain feeds together and that way we'll be able to reduce our costs and also be able to enjoy the synergy of being able to work together. Yes, so here we have the Super Napier Pang Chong One. Uh, this is about now, by the end of this week, it will be on uh, three and a half weeks that we grew this. And uh, we are growing this so that we can be able to lower our costs, especially when it comes to uh, the protein source and the energy source as what has been said before about the uh, super punk chong out there is it has very high crude proteins between 16 to 18 percent and also the biomass you get out of this in an acre you're able to do anything between 180 to 200 tons and that for us would be a game changer if we are able to uh, harvest anything within that range and what is also important is that I'll add you farmers out there, try. Uh, there are so many naysayers who said it's hard to grow this in a place like Machakos where it's dry, especially on this side of, of Kagundo Road. And clearly, the testament is there that it's, it can grow. Now we need to get to harvest stage and we'll be sharing with you more videos, more photos in terms of updates of how we are getting on with it. So I encourage you, go out there pick on what you need to grow and give it your best shot thank you for taking the time uh, to watch and also to subscribe to our channel for those who are yet to please kindly subscribe to our channel as here on this platform we are all about sharing information empowering fellow farmers and ensuring that we spread a good gospel in regard to dopa sheep management and livestock in general. Happy farming. Till next time.